Hello my dear friends and a warm welcome. This is the second part of the MCQs series on topic general microbiology and agriculture microbiology. In the first part we have already discussed the first 25 questions on general and the agriculture microbiology. You can find the link in the description box below and in the i button here. In this part, we will discuss another 20 questions on the same topic. Do watch this video till end. It is important for you. If you are preparing for your college exam, the BSc exam, MSc exam, for the CUIT exam, for UGC CSIR net exam, for the ICR net exam, or any of the MSc entrance examination. Myself, Dr. Tripti Malik Ahuja, I am your tutor, guide and mentor for the subject Biology, Life Sciences, Microbiology and Biological Sciences. In the playlist, you will find there are a number of videos which will help you in preparation of your exams. So now, let's get started. The question number 26, which organism are microscopic? and dependent on host organism for reproduction. Option A, bacteria, B, algae, C, viruses, D, protozoa. This is a very simple question, a bouncer for you. I know you have the correct answer and the correct answer is the option C, viruses. Viruses are also called obligatory intracellular parasites. Question 27. How is the gaseous exchange of phosphorus between organisms and environment? A. Moderate. B. No exchange. C. Maximum. D. Negligible. I hope you remember the phosphorus cycle. In phosphorus cycle, the phosphorus is never in the gaseous form. So, the correct option here is B. There is no exchange. Question number 28. How do herbivores and other animals obtain phosphorus? A. Plants. B. Water. C. Soil. And D. Rocks. Here the correct answer is the option A. Plants. Question number 29. Which of the uh, following biogeochemical cycle is without an atmospheric component A. Nitrogen cycle B. Phosphorus cycle C. Oxygen cycle D. Carbon cycle Again, here it is asked that in which cycle there is no involvement of atmosphere the element is not present in the atmosphere so the correct option is the option B phosphorus cycle. Now question number 30. Which of the following is a major constituent of DNA and RNA? A selenium, B cobalt, C phosphorus, D calcium. Again the question is very simple and the correct answer is option C phosphorus. Question 31. The phosphate by weathering of rocks firstly becomes available to which organism? A. Detrivores, B. Producers, C. Consumers, D. Decomposers. The correct is B. Producers which are the plants. The question number 32. Cellulose is degraded to cellobios by the enzyme. A. Hexokinase, B. Beta glucosidase, C. Cellulase, D. Cellulose, dehydrogenase. First of all, cellulose is broken to cellobiose and that is by the action of the enzyme cellulase. So, correct answer here is C cellulase. After that, on cellobiose, there is the action of the enzyme beta glucosidase so that the glucose is produced. Question number 33. In the carbon cycle, Flow of energy is A linear, B irreversible, C cyclic, D bidirectional. The option A linear is correct. The energy flows in the unidirectional.
from the sun the energy comes to the plants then the from the plants the energy enters into the animals which form the food chain so energy which is lost by the animals as the heat can be not be used by the plants and the other animals so the flow of energy is in a single direction it is linear question number 34 which among the following is a non sulfur purple bacteria option a chromatium b chloropium c thiobacillus and d is rhodomicrobium the correct answer is the option d rhodomicrobium it is non sulfur bacteria and it has chlorophyll which is called bacterial chlorophyll a and b for photosynthesis now question number 35 which among the following is not an ammonia oxidizing bacteria is nitrospina gracilis b nitrococcus oceanus c nitro so vibrio tenius d nitrosomonas europea here the correct answer is the option a nitrospina gracilis nitrospina it is a chemoenthotropic bacteria it is nitrite oxidizing bacteria it oxidizes nitrite to nitrate question 36 which of the following conditions decrease the level of denitrification a availability of oxygen b elevated temperature c acidic ph d abundance of organic matter here the correct option is the option c the acidic ph the conditions which increase the level of denitrification is the availability of organic matter but acidic ph decreases the level of denitrifications now next is question number 37 Which of the following are symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria? A. Escherichia coli, B. Clostridium, Pasturianum, C. Azotobacter, D. Rhizobium trifoliae. The correct one is the D. Rhizobium trifoliae. Rhizobium is a gram-negative bacteria. It is present in the root nodules of the leguminous plants. Question number thirty-eight. Conversion of nitrogen to ammonia or nitrogenous compounds is termed as a denitrification, b nitrogen fixation, c nitrification, d nitrogen assimilation. And the correct one is the b nitrogen fixation. Question number thirty-nine. Formation of organic nitrogen compounds like amino acids from inorganic nitrogen compounds is known as a nitrification. B nitrogen fixation, C nitrogen assimilation, and D D nitrification. C nitrogen assimilation is the correct answer. Question number forty. Ammonia or ammonium is oxidized to nitrite, followed by the oxidation of nitrite to nitrate is called A nitrogen assimilation, B D nitrification, C nitrogen fixation and d nitrification so it is d nitrification the conversion of ammonia to nitrite and then the nitrite to the nitrate these are carried by the chemoenthotropic bacteria like nitrosomonas nitrococcus nitrobacter now next question the question number 41 nitrate is reduced and ultimately produces nitrogen through a series of intermediate gaseous nitrogen oxide products this process is called a denitrification b nitrogen assimilation c nitrification d nitrogen fixation so this is called a d nitri fixation it is carried out by denitrifying bacteria like bacillus enterobacter micrococcus pseudomonas question number 42 which of the following bacteria can synthesize all of the amino acids required for protein synthesis a bacillus subtilis b lactobacillus brevis c e coli d saccharomyces cerevisiae Here the correct answer is C, 
coli e coli cannot only synthesize all the amino acids but it can also transport all the intact amino acid from the extracellular space into the cell question 43 the synthesis of polynucleotide chain of messenger rna is catalyzed by the enzyme a dna helicase b rna polymerase c rna helicase d dna polymerase and i know this is a very simple question a very direct question and the answer which is correct is the option b rna polymerase question number 44 the amino acids for protein synthesis is activated by the enzyme a amino acyl trna synthetase b rna synthetase c amino acyl mrna synthetase d is trna synthetase here the correct option is the option a amino acyl trna synthetase it is found in cytoplasm also called trna ligase it attaches to the appropriate amino acid onto the corresponding transfer rna now question number 45 which of the following is not a free living nitrogen fixing bacteria a is clostridium b is anthomonas c azotobacter and the d is the franchia so it is asked which is not a free living so here all are free living except the b xanthomonas xanthomonas in addition to rhizobium it is a symbiotic bacteria so the option b the xanthomonas is the correct option i hope these questions will be helpful in the preparation of your studies and for your exams so stay tuned bye and take care best wishes